Welcome, ladies and gentlemen! My name is Marking, and today I will be bringing you another Payday 2 video. And in this episode, I will be going through my sniper build on the new, on the newly released skill set from the update 100. And for today's episode, I am going to bring you my sniper slash shotgun stealth skill set. Yes, I know it's pretty much it's a big word, and uh, I'm going to get the sniper shotgun skill set, and I'm gonna uh, go through all the items that I think fits nice with it. Uh, in the mastermind, the force, the technician, the ghost, and the fugitive set. So to start off with the mastermind set, I like to begin with in the medic build. I will go uh, through the first one, then through the second one, and then th through the third one. And I will do that at every one of them. So, to begin, I'm going to start with the medic. And um, in order to get um, to get Inspire, I am actually going to get this one unlocked. Which gives, which is Combat Medic, which gives me, you gain a 30% damage reduction for 5 seconds, both after and during reviving another player. And then I can choose between Painkillers and Quick Fix. Uh, which is that uh, where quick where painkillers is that crew members take less damage, and quick fix is the first eight kits. So I am going to ace the first eight kits, and then I can choose between the doctor bags and the increased first eight kits. And I am going for the first eight kits because I like them. Um, and because I don't have enough for the Inspire, I can choose between a Combat Doctor and Painkillers. And because I have the first 8 kits maxed, I'm going to grab one in first 8. In Painkillers. Then I can unlock Inspire, which I am also going to ace. Which is you revive crew members 50% faster. Shouting at your teammates will increase their movement speed by 20% for 10 seconds. There is a 100% chance that you will that you can revive crew members at a distance by shouting at them. This cannot occur more than once every 20 seconds, which is a really really big nerf actually. And then for the controller, I am not going to grab any in these ones because I don't think that they fit very well. Although the partner in crime does is a very good one, which makes the uh, converter one better. And for the last one, the sharpshooter, I am actually going to grab some of these because they do really seem like very, very strong builds. And in order to get it, I am going for the stable shot and I'm going to grab that just once so that I can lock these ones and I'm going to ace uh, stable shot, gain extra stability and if I would ace it, I would get extra ac accuracy while standing still. Um, which does is nice on a sniper rifle, but I prefer to point. Bleh. I prefer to push my points in other skills, and I am going to ace uh, rifleman so that I have increased snap. I have even more increased snap with SMGs, assault rifles, and sniper rifles. Uh, I'm also going to ace marksman which gain extra accuracy and even more accuracy while aiming down in sights. And because Sniper Rifle is in single shot, it works really, really well. And then I can choose between high value target and aggressive reload, where high value target is that, you, that the enemies that you mark take more damage and if they are further away they take another damage if you have it aced. Uh, and if it... Uh, you can mark specials while aiming at them, which is, which I think is a really is going to be a really really important one because that's something that I, I've, yeah, I'm not sure if it's missed, but I, I think it's a good one. I think this is really, re I think this really is a good one. I value target, but I think aggressive reload is going to be better, which increases the reload speed if you have it once and any killing. Headshot will reduce your reload time by 40% for 2 seconds, can only be triggered by SMGs, assault rifles and sniper rifles fired in single shot mode. Which 
on which for itself isn't really that strong but combined with ammo efficiency it really is because in, in ammo efficiency when you're when you get three headshots in less than six seconds you will refund a bullet which if you have like the, the thinner, thinner enough, and you have like 15 bullets that's strong that's really really strong uh, but it can only be triggered by SMGs, assault rifles, and, sing and sniper rifles fired in single shot mode. And the amount of headshot required is reduced to 8 if you would ace it. Which is, which is a very strong link to aggressive reload. So I'm going to ace aggressive reload and I'm going to ace ammo efficiency. There we go. And then for the enforcer build, we have shotgunner, tank and ammo specialist. And to start off with shotgunner, we can take underdog, which is when you, when three or more enemies are within 18 meters of you, you receive a bonus damage that lasts for a couple of seconds. When this happens, and if you have this aced, you will also receive a damage reduction. But um, I'm usually pretty, f I'm usually fast enough to not take that much hits, so I am going to take the underdog once, so that I can unlock shotgun CQB and shotgun impact. And for these, I am going to ace both of these. Where the shotgun HQB is your reload shotguns 15% faster. And then if you have it aced, your reload shotguns 35% faster. You also gain a fifth 125 increased steel side zoom speed when using shotguns. So I'm going to ace that one. And for shotgun impact, the basic version is your weapon stability with all shotgun is increased by 8%. Sorry, your weapon stability with all shotgun is increased by 8. You deal 10% more damage with shotguns. And if you have an ace, is you deal 50% more damage with shotguns. So I'm also going to ace that, since this technically is a sniper shotgun build. And for the, uh, for the enforcer, for the last one, uh, when you kill an, uh, if you, I'm going to look at the uh, tier, for, tier, tier 4 first, which is when you kill an enemy with the shotgun over, or the overkill 9000, portable saw, you'll receive a 75 damage increase for 20 seconds. The damage bonus now applies to all weapons. Skill must be, skill must still be activated using a shotgun or a over. Or the over 9000 portable shotgun. I think I just said over 9000. Um, it also increases your weapon swap speed by 80%, but it does not apply to grenade launchers, which is actually really, really sad. But very OP, I admit. But still. So, what you can do with the shotgun, you can choose if you want to take it far away or if you want to take it close by. And for me, even though I like shooting with sniper rifles, I don't like it on shotguns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ace close by, which is you can fire from the hip with your shotguns while sprinting, which is incredibly strong on a shotgun. And if you have it aced, it's your, fire, your rate of fire is increased by 35% while firing from the hip with a single shot shotguns. With single shot shotguns. Shotguns with magazines have their magazine size increased by 15 shells. That is a lot. Especially if you would have like an AP slug or something, which is going. It's, it's kind of the same story like the Thunder Earth. So I'm going to ace close by. And I'm actually going to put one point in this one, in Far Away, because even though it's not range limited, I still think it is very, very strong. Because you gain. Bonus accuracy while aiming down a sight. So you can like run and sprint. No, you can sprint, aim down your sight from the hip, and then you have so much damage and extra accuracy because this gives accuracy. But if I would have to ace it, I would have a 50% increased effective range with shotguns while aiming down sight. And I don't. It, it, it just doesn't fit the build. It doesn't fit the cut. And then for the tank build, the first one is Re-Silence, which is increase your armor recovery rate by 15%. And Ace version is reduce the visual effect duration of flashbangs by 
and to be honest, the flashbangs in Payday 2, they aren't that bad. People complain about it, but they are not that bad. I mean, if you get shot and you're playing, let's say you're playing Death Wish and you play like the Hawks and Breakout or something, and you get flashed, it's one, maybe two seconds that you're flashed. And if you know the map enough, you can just you can just hop in the co in, in, in you can hop into cover. That that shouldn't be too big of a problem. Like people people complain about it, but I've played I I think I've played it enough so that I know that it isn't that bad. But that is why I'm going to take it basic so that I can look at these ones and. For the and here we have a choice between Die Hard and Transporter, where Die Hard is you take 50% less damage while interacting with objects, and Ace version is increase the armor of all ballistic vests by 20. And even though this one fits to another one perfectly, it's more something for a heavy build. And since I'm not a heavy, because I'm a sniper and I I'm a shotgun and I like to to be uh, to be able to run freely, I'm not going to pick it up. Instead, I'm going to pick Transporter, and I'm going to ace it, which is you can throw bags 50% further, and for each armor point, the bag movement is reduced by 1%. Which, in fact, I, I, I have to admit, even though it's not what I want, I think that the ace is not worth it. Even though I know the movement penalty is reduced quite a bit, just not enough for me to feature it in this build. In fact, um, if we look at tier 3, I think this is tier 3, yes this is tier 3, you get the shock and owl and the bullseye. And the shock and owl is increase the armor recovery rate for you and your crew by 25%. And the ace version enables your weapons to have a chance to knock back shields enemies. To knock back shield and to knock back shield enemies when attacking them. To knock back shield enemies. Range weapons knock back chance is increased the higher the total damage of the weapon is. Melee weapons knock back chance is 100%, which it, it's just not it's just not good for this build. I mean, maybe on a shotgun, but it's not what I want. It's not what I want. In addition, when you have the bullseye perk, if you have the basic, you regenerate 5 armor for each successful headshot. This cannot occur more than once every 2 seconds. On the upper hand, if you have the aced version, is that you regenerate an additional 20 armor for each successful headshot, which in fact is very strong with these ones. Ammo efficiency and aggressive reload. So, I am going to ace Bullseye. I am. And then, we have the... Uh, I can't think of this name of this build. It's the Enforcer build. The Scavenger on the Ammo Specialist. Which is your ammo box pickup is range is increased by 50%. And every 6th enemy you kill will drop an extra ammo box. And... I'm have I'm gonna have to ace this one because it is so strong if you have like a Thanos or something to have this aced. It is so important for me. Uh, for me at least, because I'm usually pretty pretty good with hitting enemies, but sometimes it's just it's, it just it just doesn't work. You know, and when you have this aced, I, I I get the feeling that I can survive so so much better. With this aced, and then on for the other ones, it's it's this is basically just uh, this is basically an ammo build, and this is the saw build, which you're not going to use if you have a shotgun. Because if you would like to have a, sh have a saw, I would have you would take the technician blow shit up build with like uh, sentries or trip mines, which I will bring up in a video in two weeks. So, keep an eye out for that. And then for the technician build, we have an engineer, a breacher, and an oppressor. And for this build, I am not going to use any of these ones. 
because these ones is these ones are basically just you know this is a sentry build this is a drill build this one and this one is a trip mine build this is a trip mine build which I think it's it's kind of interesting how shape charges and trip mines are different now as, as it's it states so I'm gonna have to take a good look at that and then for the oppressor build I'm actually going to put points in this one even though people are probably not going to enjoy it I still am uh, because I like the fire control I really think that the accuracy on this one is nice so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basic fire control and then I have four points left which means I can choose between this one this one this one this one aced or this one aced or any of the other builds but I'm not going to do anything in ghost and I'm not going to do anything in go fugitive so I can choose if I want to have uh, even more bullets which I'm actually going to pick I'm actually going to pick this one and then as you can see I have one point left which I can basically spend in anything that I want which is which for me is basically you know I have a point left so I am going to for this but if you would if you have to you can always put it in like stamina or something if you want I think I'm actually going to put it in I thought I had one here that I might use no it's not this one it's not this one um, let's see I am going to put it in I'm going to use equilibrium which is basically what I usually get as a secondary weapon on my sniper shotgun builds which is a uh, I think it's a deagle yeah it's a deagle I like to using I like using a deagle with the sniper shotgun so if I get level 100 before uh, before the next two weeks I will um, I will make the um, I will I will go around and use the tech blow shit up skill set build. So stay tuned for that, and um, I hope you uh, you enjoyed this sniper build. I hope I see you people in the next video. Bye.